Hi, it's Dr. Joe Markovich of Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. I'm going to explain to you the difference between a normal disc, a herniated or bulging disc, and a ruptured disc, and a sequestered piece disc. A normal disc is nice and thick, has good circulation to it, is hydrated, and is a cushion between the vertebra themselves. It separates the area where the nerve root comes out. You can see the nerve root, this is this yellow thing, comes out in between the vertebra. The nerve root itself is actually part of the central nervous system and considered that. So if there's a pinched nerve or stenosis you might have heard or any kind of pressure on the disc or from the disc onto a nerve root, that is a central nervous system problem. So the disc is thick and you can see here in the middle is this like a little like a fried egg. This is the nucleus and these ring things here, those are considered the annula, the annular uh, rings around the disc. So basically this is layers and layers of fibers that make the disc strong and supportive. It's the strongest ligament in the body, the disc. So you get this nice thick fried egg, fried, fried egg look over easy, and that big nucleus pulposus. Now what happens is when you tear a disc, you hear about people fracturing a disc, bulging a disc, slipping a disc, there's a tear in the disc. The annular fibers start to get torn. You're starting to get dehydration of these discs. This is, this is a normal part of aging, degenerative disc disease or uh, degenerative joint disease, whichever you prefer. The nucleus is starting to get a little less uh, thick. The annular fibers are getting a little bit ripped through. You can see here it's like some hang, uh, torn areas, like the, like the layers are coming off, just like an onion. You peel the layers off the onion and there's less onion there. So the same thing with the, the annular fibers of, uh, of the disc itself. So the disc is losing its height due to lack of fluid and integrity. The, the histologically, the cells themselves are, are, are disintegrating. So this would, could be considered possibly, possibly the beginning of a disc bulge. There's no bulge as yet, but when these fibers tear, it's just a matter of time. Then the person does a little bit, reaches over and grabs something, and then they bulge a disc. And the disc bulges back on the nerve root. You can see here where the nucleus itself has bled through, has bled back pieces of it are pushing back through these annular fibers that it's torn through. So it's torn through, but it's not completely torn through. So this would be considered a bulge or a herniation. All right, it's herniating, but it's it's not completely torn through. If it was herniating, just like a herniated bowel or a hernia, if a person talks about a hernia, inguinal hernia, it's their bowel is pushing through the, the fiber, the muscle fibers of the abdomen and causing a herniation. Same thing can happen here and then this can cause severe pain. Most pain from a herniation comes from the disc. There's pain when it touches the nerve root, but most of the pain comes from the disc itself. This is what Bog Duke has found out. Bog Duke is a researcher in spinal disc and pain. Here we have a disintegrated disc. Everything is torn up and you can't really see what happens normally on this. It's bled through, it's torn through all the outer fibers, the parts of the nucleus, and it either pushing through, it's ruptured through the, the final layer, it's ruptured through and pushed through and put in pressure directly on the spinal nerve root and or is broken off and has a a sequestered piece, a broken off piece, and you heard about people having pieces of disc, they get microsurgery and they pull a little piece of disc off, well that's what happens in this. That would be considered a rupture and if it's broken off piece, that would be considered a sequestered piece. This is the worst scenario, this is the hardest thing to fix, and this is what we fix here at Mount Pleasant Family Health Group. So if you have anybody who has serious back pain, leg pain, sciatica, problems with walking, ambulating, getting up out of a chair. Those are the people that need chiropractic care at our center. And we have laser, the newest laser, class four, and we also have disc decompression. It works for all these conditions and it's terrific. The results are better than 80%. Thanks very much. It's Dr. Joe, Mount Pleasant, South Carolina.